Hey guys, Crewman here. I want to talk about Nexia, but before I do, I want to go over some disclaimers. The first disclaimer is the more people that get on this coin, as it gets more popular, the smaller the yield's going to be, the less money everybody's going to make. The second disclaimer is this is a very new, very unproven coin. Now, while I have made money from it, and I'm still making money from it, that doesn't mean it could change in a second. So mine it at your own risk. Third, as more people mine it and people want to get quick payouts, there will be sell pressure. The sell pressure there is the lower the price. So the price could also tank overnight. So I wanted to go over all of these things before you started mining it. To recap, there is a lot of risk in mining a new coin from the price tanking to the project just going belly up to the yield being bad. Uh, so, you know, mine it at your own risk. I have been mining it, it's been profitable. But that doesn't mean it will stay profitable. So I want to let everybody know that this is risky. It's very, you know, I, I think it's risky. I thought it was pretty risky when it started. However, for me, I can afford to pay for my power cost out of pocket. So all I was risking was a few days power and I was willing to take that risk. So if you cannot afford however many days you want to mine on this to cover the power cost, do not do it. It, again, it's a risk, and I want everybody to be well aware of the risk. So the first thing I want to talk about is the price. So if we look at if we look at the price, it's been pretty stable. So it got listed on December first ish. Um, you know, it, it started you know a little bit high, and then it went down, obviously. Uh, but if you look at if you look at the price, it's been it's been steady. Um, I want to say a lot of people have started to get a lot of people started getting their first payouts from CPU mining. Or I'm sorry, from GPU mining, around December 9th, and so the price went down a little bit, but the price has been pretty steady. And I'll put a link to this on the website. But the price has been pretty steady, which is the first sign that it was solid. So the second thing is profitability. So here is the profitability of a single 3070 with my power at 11 cents per kilowatt hour as you can see uh, this is how much next year you're expected to get per day this is the revenue per day now this is for the morning of 12 12 uh, 2022 so obviously all these results can and will change um, and then you you can see the total profit per day is 50 cents per week is three and a half Per month is 15 and that's after electric cost so obviously you're not mining anything close to that anywhere else uh, the profits are insane right now and obviously the more people that mine it the worse they will get uh, as you can see for the 3080 uh, it's even better now it uses more power but you know the profits are better now I have only been mining these on Nvidia I've been keeping my AMD cards on Caspa so and I've only been using 30 series cards um, the 3070 and the 3060 Ti are about the same. Here's the 3060 cost right down here. So as you can see, you're making about three and a half uh, or th almost four dollars a month per profit. And it's OK. It's not the best. It's not the worst. I only have a few of these mining on it. So I just added the settings for a 3080 or I'm sorry, a 3070. If you have 18 cents per kilowatt hour profit, uh, let's write that down in here, uh, which is pretty high. And as you can see, you're still profitable, which is incredible because you would think that you're out of the game at 18 cents. And you very well may be soon, but for now, it, it looks good. Um, I got these profits from the Discord, from the Discord, the Nexia Discord, which I will share in the links down below. So, you know, take these with a grain of salt as they will change. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get an account from... Uh, this exchange is called Exbitatron. I can't pronounce it. Um, they, as you can see, they're the only ones with next next year listed. And if you click on it, they you can exchange it for USDT TRC20, which you can then move to another exchange, um, and that's how you get paid out. Important thing. So you make an account on here, and then I would recommend mining directly to this exchange, just because. Uh, you know, things could happen fast and you can need to sell fast. Now, you know, normally I never recommend mining to exchange an exchange and you shouldn't, not your keys, not your wallet. It's very true. But for something like this, when anything could change on a dime, 
I very, very much recommend mining directly to this exchange. All right, so here's the pool that I'm mining on. It is our plant. And as you can see, the hash is already starting to go up from 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, it's been it's been pretty stable. If big thing though, the big big thing I want to I want to stress right here is the first payment will be seven days after the start of mining, or 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 5,000 confirmations are required. Now I started mining this uh, last week sometime, and it was not seven days. It was until I got my first payout. Um, I want to say I started this Wednesday morning. Uh, others started sooner. And I got my first payout this past Saturday morning. So, you know, I, I as the network gets bigger and more blocks are found and, the you know, everything goes faster. As you can see, there's already some blocks found. Um, you will get pay, payouts faster. Now, they, they tend to trickle in. So as you, you know, you would see your immature balance as that goes up that's how everything gets released so it's a very slow release and so you don't get paid right away but you do get paid because i have gotten paid um and i'm continuing to get them to get paid so um so that's the miner and it's pretty easy to get set up i will put instructions in the comments on how to do everything so i'm just going to show you one of my rigs i have most of my nvidia farm on it this is a 3070-3060 Ti Founders Rig. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting about 18 to 20 mega hash. Uh, and I'll put my overclock settings down below, but you can see the power is 150. Core is somewhere between 120 and, or 150 and 110. So the next thing you're going to want to do is set up your wallet. Um, you're going to want to follow the command I have in the comment or in the section down below. And you're going to want to paste that into the coin slot. And it'll fill in everything for you. Then you need to get your wallet address from Bixitron Pool or their wallet or wherever you want to mine from. Put your wallet in there. And then you want to uh, set up the flight sheet. Once you launch the flight sheet, then you're going to want to follow that command I have up at the top of this window. Uh, I'll have it in the comments down below as well. Um, you're going to want to run that as the miner's running. And then it's actually going to start running the miner. It'll take a second to tune it, especially if you have a lower end CPU in your rig and then uh you know you hit a refresh a few times and then you're good to go you're good to start mining it's really uh, a pretty simple process to start mining and uh finally i just want to show you my 3080 rig um you can tweak the power as you see fit to adjust your hash and here are my settings for that so people may be asking why are you sharing it now and to be bluntly honest with you I was just kind of keeping it to myself, mining away, but uh, cat's out of the bag. So once I saw the cat's out of the bag, I figured I might as well show everyone how to do it and confirm that it is profitable. Now the big question that everybody's asking is, should I mine it? Well, that is up to you to decide. Um, I would recommend checking out their website and looking around on it, seeing what it has to offer. I would check out their roadmap. I, I was personally, you know, I liked it. Um, but you have to make your own decision. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try not to sway your opinion either way. Uh, the next thing you want to look at is the exchange. Is there enough volume? Do you feel comfortable going to a new exchange? Do you, you know, are you okay moving money from one exchange to another and having to swap a few times in order to get paid out? There are tax ramifications for all of that. Is it worth it to you? Um, can you afford it? You know, is your is your power cost? You know, is it going to be profitable with your power cost? Again, you know, I, I did 11 cents, which is mine, and then I did up to 18 cents, which as you can see, it's, it's profitable. Um, so that's another thing you have to ask yourself. You know, are you, and are you comfortable with, with where the price is? Do you think it's going to crash? Do you think it's going to hold? Do you think that you're too late? You know, you have to ask yourself all of these questions and see if you think it's worth mining. You know, are you comfortable with the fact that you don't get paid out right away? Yeah, I honestly I was pretty skeptical at first. You know, I said let's let's take a let's take a gamble, which is what this is. This is all a gamble. There is nothing for certain on this. You know, this could explode or it could be a rug or it could end up. I don't think it's going to be a rug pull, and I really don't want to use that word, but it could end up not being valuable enough to mine and not being worth it. You know, it's up to you if you think it's worth it. I gave you all the disclaimers. I gave you all the info. Uh, in order to start mining it, the directions will be on the uh, on the description down below. 
Um, you know, if you like this content, please, please, please like and subscribe. It really, really helps. You know, I want to share crypto mining content, tech content, everything with you. Um, I will post an update in a few days with how my mining is going on Nexa. So uh, thank you again. Please like and subscribe and Crewman out.